Welcome back. My name is Dr. Andrew Grecki, owner of Superior Physical Therapy, and we're at Pain-Free Living today talking about shoulder pain and ways to naturally, naturally relieve shoulder pain, avoiding medications, injections, and surgery. What are most people with shoulder pain dealing with? You know, common symptoms of shoulder pain. Um, most commonly, surprisingly, is actually the shoulder being painful in the front at nighttime when we're trying to sleep. That's a really common uh, complaint and, and something that really affects people. Uh, our sleep is actually when our body heals itself. So we get about three to four cycles of REM sleep per night and our body needs that to recover from the damage that we went through all day long. So that can be a really devastating thing if we're not sleeping properly. And not to mention, uh, I know this, I've got three little boys at home under the age of four and uh, sleep is not so great for me right now. And I can tell you when you're not sleeping good, you're in a, you, you can be in a bad mood. And when you're in a bad mood, you start to treat people poorly. So, so that's not good. So really this show might help you get in a better mood because you're sleeping better and then you can treat the people that you love uh, with, a, with a better attitude and, and maybe have some stronger relationships. Other symptoms of shoulder pain are typically gonna be when we're moving our shoulder. So depending on the direction, it could be front to back, it could be overhead sideways, could be reaching behind us to the back seat. But when we move our shoulder, that's a really common uh, cause of, or, or a symptom of shoulder pain. And then sometimes if it's if it's bad enough, we actually can get pain in the shoulder that travels down the arm. That can be uh, contributed or associated with numbness and tingling and weakness in the hand. Um, so yeah, shoulder pain is not good. Those are common symptoms. Usually though, it's when we move that the shoulder pain gets worse. So in today's show, we're gonna try to talk about how to heal naturally and return to movement. We don't wanna just make a big list of things that we're avoiding and um, not enjoying in our life. Let's get started by talking about the number one single biggest mistake that shoulder pain sufferers make. And so before we get to that kind of answer, it's a really good answer, we need to talk about the three ways to handle a problem. So I would consider shoulder pain a problem. So number one is ignoring a problem. And I don't know about you, but most problems that I have when I ignore them in my life, they typically don't just go away, they oftentimes build and get worse. And so that's a really common thing when people are having sh shoulder pain, uh, they will ignore it. And that doesn't mean you're not talking about it to your spouse or to your friends and family or even your doctor. It just means you haven't done anything yet. So so doing nothing is not really a great, a great option when we have shoulder pain because most shoulder pain is actually what's called a cumulative trauma injury, meaning as time goes on, it gets worse. Uh, you've probably noticed that, that it was maybe once every three months when you were just doing yard work and now it's once every week or not, and maybe it's even once every day now, or maybe it's constant. And these things typically will build as time goes on. Number two is altering the problem. Unfortunately, this is the most common uh, thing that people are doing when they have shoulder pain. And it's not your fault, but it's oftentimes the uh, people you're asking for help, they're giving you treatments or things to do um, that are just altering the situation. So one of the most common things that people with shoulder pain do is they either take pain medicine or they take anti-inflammatories. And both of those things, pain medicine only uh, alters the brain's perception of pain, so it's not fixing the actual problem. And then anti-inflammatories only reduce the body's response to the injury. Uh, the second phase of the healing process is actually inflammation. So we need inflammation in order to find a solution. The body has to heal itself. And then the third way to handle a problem finally is change what's causing the symptom of pain, right? So if we can change it, which we're gonna get to later in the show, that becomes the best strategy for us. We need to, we need to think of this in terms of, okay, there's inflammation, there's some things happening in the shoulder. What's actually causing that in the first place? And that's where I'm gonna go and talk to you today about the three most common causes that are actually creating the symptoms in the shoulder. And so the answer is really the number one single biggest mistake that shoulder pain sufferers make that oftentimes leads to surgery is them either ignoring it or altering it. Really ignoring it's the worst, biggest mistake.